Jessica Wellman, editor of SBC Americas, and I am joined by Green Tubes CFO and CGO Michael Bauer. Michael, I'm so excited to talk with you today. Hi, about, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. About just what's going on in, in North and South America. I, I'm a bit of a homer, so let's start with North America. Okay. What all have you been doing there and what successes have you had? So, uh, in America, we've actually had quite big success, both in Canada and in the US. Um, year on year, we have had a tremendous growth in Canada of over 100%. So we are very happy about this development there. Um, we are live there with BCLC, we are live in Ontario, we are live with Lotto Quebec. And we are growing step by step. Um, just today we've launched another customer in Ontario, so very happy about that development there. A bit further south in the, in the, in the States, in the US, it's going really well for us as well. We've uh, last week launched with Fenwell in Michigan and New Jersey. So we now have all of the big operators there in the, in the States. Our game portfolio really goes well. So we've invested over the last few years a lot into the portfolio of games that it fits perfect to the American market. And yeah, now we're looking into further market growth there. You know, uh, we need to still go live in Connecticut and Pennsylvania. So a lot of potential for us there. And yeah, we're very happy so far. You know, I think everyone in the US looks at iGaming as kind of the big long play, but how much is GreenTube looking into iLottery? We've got Massachusetts coming on and it seems like that might be producing more states more quickly. Have you been looking into that much? Yes, we have. Um, but I have to say, when looking at the iLottery market, it's quite a different thing, um, especially in the US. Um, it's different from a games perspective. It's different from a sales cycle perspective. It is all much slower uh, than what we are used to from the online casinos. Um, contract phase, uh, getting games live, it, it all takes much, much longer than in online casino. But um, I think for us as a big supplier, um, it's a very, very good opportunity and add-on opportunity because um, we just we, we can afford to invest into different kind of games and we really want to tackle the eye lottery market in the US as well. We are live, as I said, in Canada, BCLC and, and, and Quebec, but there we are talking about casino markets. Uh, so we can supply our standard products, slots, table games, and the same is in Europe where we are live with a few lotteries. With iLotto games, you know, it's a lot of the same brands that slots players know and love, but what's, how do you differentiate a game for an iLottery player versus a casino customer? So it really depends actually on the, on the lottery. So if, if the lottery has a, an online casino license, then we're talking about the same games basically. Yeah. But if, it's, um, if it doesn't, um, and if they can only supply lottery games, then we're talking about really completely different games. We're talking about scratch cards, we're talking about e-instance. Um, and also from a math perspective, this is different. So yeah. um, there we have like a, a finite pool of prices, let's say, where you draw the prices out. Gotcha. That's different from a slot game, where it's fully random and you can win the top prize a lot of times if you're lucky. Moving back to Canada, you're in more provinces than a lot of people, but Alberta is certainly on everyone's mind. How much have you guys looked into um, Alberta as a new market for you? So when it comes to Canada, as I've said, um, it's a market that fits us really, really well uh, from games portfolio perspective. So we want to be in all markets there. Um, and Alberta is definitely no difference here. Um, and we are following the development there very closely. We are in touch now with the regulator to see is there any you know, supplier specific regulations that we need to fulfill. Do we need a license? Do we need to certify the games? Obviously, we are hoping for passporting of a license from Ontario. Yeah, that would, that would be, be great. Yeah. Or passporting the certificates from Ontario. Because I think it makes just much more sense to do this. Um, because it will benefit of course, the operators will benefit the suppliers and at the end of the day, the players, because they will get a much bigger portfolio of games from the start. So let's see what it, what, what comes I, out of it. It seems like that ministry is willing to be collaborative, which Perfect, yeah. would be amazing, right? You know, in February, you expanded your partnership with Superbet uh, to include Brazil. How has that gone? And, you know, Brazil, I think, might be the hottest topic uh, right now. So it what is. insights can you give about Brazil? Yeah, it is. So Brazil is, um, I would say, like a blue ocean for us. I mean, we are live there with Superbet. We are live with a few other big brands there. 
but the, I think for us the potential there is massive. Um, we are still at the start um, and we can do so much more. Next step for us is um, to develop our game portfolio more into this direction as well. Um, because what we have at the moment there is slot games um, and we have our video bingo games which uh, work especially well in Brazil. But we are missing out on a big chunk which is crash games and those easier fast games that uh, we don't really have. And that's why we have now um, developed crash games in, in one of our subsidiaries uh, called Cape Cod. Cape Cod is also doing aggregation business for us in Italy um, and they have all of our slot games already on their, on their platform. Um, what we've done now, uh, maybe uh, you know, um, we have uh, also developed a new technology stack and we, are also, we have already integrated this new technology stack as well into Cape Cod. So now when we bring Cape Cod into Brazil, this will be the biggest portfolio ever that has uh, existed from us. With Cape Cod games, with Crash games, with old stack, new stack, everything will be there. So that's what we're planning at the moment for Brazil. In terms of the rest of Latin America, you know, a lot of other emerging markets besides Brazil, do you have future plans for expansion in the region? Yes, uh, definitely. Um, we are already pretty strong actually in Peru, Colombia, where we've been one of the first in the market, um, Mexico, high on the agenda for us as well. Um, at the moment we are recruiting sales staff there because what we've experienced is from Europe it's of course difficult to, um, to accommodate the needs of the operators yeah. there. Uh, it's a different way of working there, much more personal contact. Uh, they, they don't really want to you know, write emails to and wait them for an email coming back from Europe. That's not how it works there. So we are recruiting them, first in Brazil and then maybe in the region for the people. Um, because once we have boots on the ground there, I think we can grow a lot more. So that's the plan there. Latin America, huge opportunity. Canada seems to be really growing. North America, not as rapidly expanding. What do you think the next 12 to 24 months is gonna look like for iGaming in North America? Yeah, I think everybody hopes for the next, you know, iGaming state to open up in, in the US. Um, there's talks about Ohio. Uh, there have been talks about New York uh, and a few other states, but Whatever state comes next, uh, we will tackle it because we want to be in every regulated state that is big enough for us. Uh, and we, I think we have the right portfolio. It's proven that our games are working. We have the right relations to customers already. We have a, a very strong game portfolio in the market already. We know which games are working. We have all the right integrations already. We know the operators. We have good partnerships with them. So every new market, we want to be there first and we will for sure make a difference there, like in the other markets where we are already. So yeah, we are really looking forward and I hope there will be the one or the other market coming maybe next year or maybe even two, let's see. Yeah. Well, it sure seems like you're first to market in just about everywhere I write about you guys. So it sounds like you've got a busy 2024 and 25 ahead of you. So thanks for taking the time to tell us about thanks it today. Thanks a lot for having me. Thank you.